بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah, there is no God but He, the living, the self-subsisting, eternal, no slumber can seize Him nor sleep. His are all things in the heaven and on the earth. Who is there that in, in that can intercede in his presence except as he permits? He know what is before or after or behind them, nor shall they compass any of his knowledge and except as he wills. His throne extends over the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. For he is the Most High, the Supreme. The theme of this verse is God himself. It is a verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, a Madinan Surah. It begins with the expression of the Shahada, declaration of oneness of God, and then elaborates various different aspects of unity of God that make him matchless. God is free from all weaknesses and limitations, have perfect knowledge of all times, is not dependent on anyone for his survival, and enjoys autonomy in exercising his authority. His authority and his rule encompasses the entire universe. This makes God not only unique, but also elevates him to the height. We can't just imagine and this is mentioned. In the Quran as, then he established himself on the throne. This passage tells Muslims to believe in Tawheed in terms of God's uniqueness, majesty, and glory. This is important for Muslims as it crystallizes the belief of Tawheed and trains them to condemn shirk. There is repetitive mention of God, authority, unlimited knowledge, and powers in order to strengthen the faith of its readers. He is exalted in power, wise, he created the heavens without any pillars. And but God is the one free of all wants. The objective is to remind Muslims that God alone is to be worshipped and no authority can be compared with him. Many Muslims recite this verse regularly to reiterate God's power and high position as compared to any world authority.